Hello and thank you for watching this TX Advanced Basic Workflow video. TX Advanced combines radio frequency spectrum and intermodulation analysis to determine the optimal frequencies for wireless transmitters. For this example, let's assume we have 7 transmitters, 2 Electrosonics Digital Hybrid, 4 Wizicom MTP60, and a Sennheiser G4. Let's start by checking the general parameters. Click on Settings in the menu. One of the most important settings is the gain of the SDR dongle. The default value of 3 is suitable for our case. We should also ensure that the TV channel settings correspond to our region. The default values for the other settings are appropriate. Don't forget to save the changes. Now, we need to create our TX list. Go to the list manager and click on new list. Enter a name and click add TX once. The first transmitter, named TX1, will appear in the list below. Click on it to set it up. Choose the brand, Electrosonics Digital Hybrid in this case, and select the model, Block 22. Enter a name and choose a color if necessary. Click on the save icon to save it and return to the TX list edit screen. TX Advance remembers the last added transmitter. Click on Add TX once more, and a new Electro Digital Hybrid Block 22 will appear. Now, let's add the four Wizicom MTP60 transmitters and group them. Click Add TX and then select the newly added transmitter. Choose Wizicom as the brand and MTP60 as the model. Since we have four identical transmitters connected to the same MCR54 receiver, we will group them. Click on Group and choose a group, Group A for example. Save this TX. Next, press Add TX four times. Click on the last transmitter and change its group setting to None, ensuring that you do not modify the previously set up Wizicom transmitters. Then, configure it as a Sennheiser G4 Range B. Our TX list is now complete. Save it by clicking on the Save icon at the bottom right. The app will take us back to the home screen. Now, let's set up our first location by clicking on the plus icon. On the Location Edit screen, choose a name for your location. Link it to the previously created TX list, enable the exclusion lists, and save it. We are now back on the home screen with the location loaded and our TX list displayed at the bottom. If necessary, we can now set up some exclusion lists. Let's assume we know that digital TV channels 32 and 35 are in use in our area. Click on Exclusion List. Choose the appropriate category, Europe in our case, and enable channels 32 and 35. Select the activated category to ensure that only the right exclusion lists are enabled. Returning to the home screen, we can see the two exclusion lists corresponding to the respective channels. Next, let's plug in the SDR dongle using the OTG cable. Click on Scan and wait for the scan to complete. Once the scan is finished, you will see the RF spectrum in the upper part of the screen and your TX list at the bottom. Now we are ready to choose frequencies for our transmitters. Assuming the receiver for our MTP60 is a Wizicom MCR54, we need to set up a 32 MHz window for the transmitters grouped in Group A. Press the Auto Group icon, select Group A, and set a bandwidth of 32 MHz. Confirm your selection and let the app run its algorithm. Once the process is complete, the low and high frequency limits for all the TX in Group A will be adjusted to the best 32 MHz window determined by the RF scan. You can verify this by going to the Transmitter Settings screen. Now we can select frequencies for each transmitter. We will manually select frequencies for the first and last transmitters, and then use the auto mode for the remaining ones. Click on the first Electro Digital Hybrid TX to open its frequency settings screen. In the upper part, you will find the RF spectrum corresponding to the low and high frequencies limits for this transmitter. And in the lower part, you will see the list of possible frequencies. Touching a frequency on the RF spectrum chart will automatically move the list of possible frequencies accordingly. You can choose a frequency from the list or enter it manually. Once you have selected a frequency, save the settings for this TX. On the home screen, lock the first transmitter to ensure its frequency remains unchanged. 
lock the last TX as well, as we will choose its frequency later. To automatically choose frequencies for the remaining 5 unlocked transmitters, click on the auto frequency icon. Confirm your selection and let the app search for the optimal frequencies. Next, click on the last remaining transmitter. You can either choose its frequency manually, similar to the first transmitter, or use the auto mode. Start by unlocking the transmitter so that we can modify its frequency. Click on auto, the app will provide a list of the best frequencies in ascending order. Select the first frequency from the list. Save the settings for this TX. All frequencies are now set, ensuring intermodulation-free operation, and ready to be deployed to your transmitters and receivers. For more detailed information, you can download the user manual from the website. Thank you.